Okay, this is a really great question. It is status markers for men. I think there are obvious ones. That's going to be you're watching your shoes, number one. It can also be, depending on which city you live in, cars. It can be which area code, home ownership, all of that. But the real tea is you have to be able to do it holistically. Story time. I dated someone years ago who would spend a lot on status markers. So he had a Royal Oak, I don't know, $60,000 plus watch. He had a $200,000 car but only wore fast fashion like his suiting was fast fashion his t-shirts were fast fashion his shoes were everything fast fashion and so obviously that made me a little bit curious because in my opinion some of these status markers if they don't match your lifestyle holistically to me it kind of felt a little financially irresponsible and it wasn't quite it felt as though the status markers of appearing to be wealthy were more important than actually accumulating wealth so I say this honestly for both men and women, if you are going to lean into really, really, really high value, difficult to procure status markers, make sure that the holistic story adds up. Because to me, it honestly, I would have preferred a cheaper watch and a cheaper car and actually investing in mechanisms to build wealth. That to me, particularly from a partnership standpoint, would have made me feel a lot more safe than just someone who's really spending over indexing on status markers. So before you buy that AP, Make sure that your shirts aren't all from the local TJ Maxx, okay?